I first felt the lump when I was 25. I was in my second year of my master's program and getting ready to apply to medical school. The rational part of my brain thought, oh, this can't be anything. Like, I'm so young, I don't have really any medical problems. And then when I was having the biopsy done, I think is when it really hit me, like, oh my gosh, like I might actually have breast cancer. Maria had a type of breast cancer which is called invasive ductal carcinoma, which is most common in women in their 50s and 60s. But what was very unusual about Maria was that she was 26 years old when she was diagnosed. Most people know somebody who has had breast cancer, but people don't really talk about young women in their 20s and 30s getting breast cancer. When you're that young, it's usually considered nothing because usually it is nothing. So then having it become actually a life-threatening diagnosis, it's very, very hard. The year before had been like trying to do everything that I can to get into medical school. And one of the first things that came into my mind was, oh my gosh, like, can I even apply to medical school? What if I need multiple surgeries? What if I need chemotherapy? So to have my focus just like completely shift was really difficult. It's incumbent upon us as providers to make sure our patients really understand what's going on and can really make informed choices that are right for them. What is gonna make her get through this diagnosis, have a cure, and thrive at the end of it? They gave me all of the information that we had about my cancer and I did end up deciding to have a double mastectomy. People assume that the worst part is being told that you have cancer, but the aftermath is challenging in its own way. You really do face the possibility of your mortality. I remember I was like desperate to find other people that could relate to what I was going through. And I stumbled across this nonprofit organization that is for young women affected by breast and ovarian cancer. That was like the first time that I felt like, wow, there are other people going through similar things. And that made me feel so much less alone. Right now, it's been about 15 months since I was diagnosed with breast cancer. I am currently a first year medical student at Boston University, which is right next door to Boston Medical Center. Maria is really a, a remarkable person. Applying to medical school is an arduous thing to do, and she did it while she was going through active breast cancer treatment. It's pretty crazy to see everything that has happened in the past year. I had five surgeries, was put into artificial menopause. The truth is, young people do get cancer, and I think that it's important not only for like the general population to know that, but I think it's also really important, especially in the medical community, to just not rule it out as a possibility. If you had asked me in the weeks after my diagnosis, do you think you'll be a medical student in a year? I probably would have been like, no. I feel very grateful to be receiving my training at the same hospital where all of my doctors are. I know how much they care about their patients and I feel really fortunate that I'm receiving my medical education from those types of physicians and that I'll continue to receive training from them. Every person's journey is different, and having been through my journey with breast cancer, I would hope that I would be able to connect with my patients on an even deeper level and help my patient understand that it's going to be hard, but that we'll work through it together.